Let's take a look at a company that has the following balance sheet and the following income statement. So based on the numbers in the previous page, what is the enterprise value of XYZ Inc? Well, the company has 100 million shares at standing and a share price of $20. So that equates to an equity value of 2 billion plus 300 million in net debt. That equates to an enterprise value of 2.3 billion. In the following slides, we are going to address the EV to sales multiple, EV to EBITDA, EV to EBIT, EV to capital employed, and EV to free cash flow to the firm multiples. Let's jump in. Let's start at the top of the income statement with the EV to sales multiple. There are two different ways we can calculate it. The first and most straightforward is to simply take the enterprise value of 2.3 billion and divide it by the sales revenue on the income statement of 1 billion. That equates to an EV to sales multiple of 2.3 times. But if we wanted to break it down into more components, we could look at the EV to EBITDA ratio and then multiply that by the EBITDA margin. So, for example, this company has an EV of 2.3 billion, EBITDA of 650 million, and therefore an EV to EBITDA ratio of 3.5 times. The EBITDA margin is 65%. So if we multiply 3.5 by 65%, we arrive at an EV to sales multiple of 2.3 times, the same as the top method that's shown here. So that just gives a little more insight as to the company structure using the second method. Now try calculating these numbers on your own. 